Hello everybody, Floyd here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I normally talk about motorcycles and stuff on here, but today we'll do something a little bit different. I've been 3D printing now for a couple of years, off and on, and I entered a contest with Creality. They had a drawing to provide a K1 printer, their new high-speed flagship printer, to people in exchange for reviews. I got this one in yesterday and set it up and so far I've been rather impressed with it. I've been happy with it. Setup is fairly easy. It comes in this huge sturdy shipping crate. And it comes almost fully assembled. There's only a couple of minor little things you have to do for setup. The first thing you have to do of course, after unpacking everything, the uh, control panel, the touchscreen display is not installed. So you have to carefully plug the wire in on the back and then it snaps into place. On the uh, build plate, there are three screws that you have to remove. They're clearly indicated by the uh, yellow arrows. And that is the extent of actual mechanical construction you have to do. I'm going to set the lid off. This is a fully enclosed printer from the factory. I'm going to set the lid off and show you. It has a one piece, a direct drive extruder, the direct drive unit is here. And they actually send you a spare hot end and a spare extruder drive with the machine, which is neat, along with all the other tools and stuff. They actually recommend that you remove the top cover when you're printing PLA. And I definitely would do that if it was really hot in your room where you're doing your printing. I'm going to spin the machine around now and show you the back side of it. Here we have the filament holder and the filament runout detector. This entire machine, you, all right, the build plate specs are 220 by 220 by 250. Even so, it's still a very compact machine, especially compared to my old Ender 3 or other less expensive machines. It's a Core XY, meaning your movement is handled up here in the extruder, and then the build plate simply moves up and down for the Z axis. I run several prints with it already. I did some testing. These are the files that were on it. I was actually able in like under an hour to have this machine up and printing. And this is an articulated cat that I realized now this was no doubt optimized for the machine and everything. But I did not have to break anything loose. I printed the 3D Benchy. I've never printed one of these before in my life. It had just one or two little strings on it, but it printed this one in 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Now that is using the Creality Hyper PLA. What it will do in normal filaments, I don't know. I haven't done that yet. And I did test the filament runout sensor. I printed this, which is a sign stand to take the car shows. It's designed to hold large poster size stands up. And I actually ran out of filament while I was printing this because I left the sample roll on instead of putting on a full fresh roll. Well, it paused the print. And I was able to restart the print 
fill it back up, fill it and restart the crank. But only just to slide this trace in here where it restarted. And since I'm planning to sand it and paint it anyway, that doesn't matter. It's not even visible on all sides. So I'm impressed with that. Also, the size of this piece, the huge volume of it, it printed that in six and a half hours. It nearly filled the complete build chamber while I was printing. Overall, I'm very pleased with this machine. Yes, I did not pay for it. It was sent to me in exchange for a review. But having used it and reviewed it, I will probably be purchasing the K1 Max to do even larger parts with it. Anyhow, that concludes this review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you. Thank you.